we're going to now create the template. Uh, to do this, you're going to go to Dreamweaver, open HTML, and it's going to give you a blank page, as we mentioned in the last video. As uh, I mentioned earlier on as well, uh, make sure that the ruler is visible before you start. Now, the easiest way to um, create a website really is to use table. We're going to go to insert, click table. And we're going to use around six rows and two columns. Now, there isn't any one way of doing this. Some of you might want to just use three rows, four rows. I'm going to create a design that I feel is going to be right for me to use for this website, and you'll see why. Now, in some pages, I might merge some of the cells, uh, but for now, I'm going to create enough space for me to use in the four pages that we need to create for this micro site. I'm going to have two columns going down, and the table width in pixels is 1024, as it says in the exam paper. There. 1024. Now keep this in mind as well that they want it to be 768 pixels going down uh, vertically because they don't want any scrolling. So 1024 and for now I'm going to put one pixel there. I'm going to get rid of it later but just for now um, just so I can get a better understanding because I'm going to have to do a little bit of playing around with this and you'll see why in a moment. So press OK and it comes in. Now before I move it down notice how that it stops exactly where I want it to stop on the horizontal uh, axis. So over here, I'm gonna merge these two top rows, uh, cells, by selecting both of them with my left click, right click inside, the selection, go to table, merge. And this is where the uh, banner is going to go. I'm gonna put these two together as well, the bottom, and this will be perfect for things like contact us or emails or things like that, social media, uh, if, it's required and again I'm going to merge them too and the navigation bar usually goes right underneath the, nav uh, the uh, banner so that's going to be merged as well and I'm going to keep these separate here um, I'm going to keep that as it is for now however I'm going to decide on the amount of space I need for the banner so I'm going to think I'm going to I'm going to consider around that much there just gonna have a look around, and I'm gonna play around with this just so just so I can get an understanding. But I won't really know until I preview the page to understand how it looks. And the navigation bar doesn't need to be that tall, so I'm gonna use about that much space. Maybe make the banner a little bit larger there, and then I'm gonna leave that there as it is. But I'm gonna drag this here, the black box, not from the left here where the arrow, the cursor turns into a double arrow but the black box itself, so this is a white double arrow cursor, and you drag it down to the amount that the exam paper said, which is 768 pixels. So you can see that's 400, so go down until you see 700, there it is, 700, and that's 750, we want 768, so that's 750, 55, 60, 65, 755, 60, 65, and it's about there, just between those two there. Now, notice how these also get larger. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit just so you can see. It makes it easier for me to see as well. There it is. Now, I don't want this cell here to be this big. So I'm going to use... So when I click here, I'm not going to click on the black box anymore. I'm going to click on this side and then basically click on this side here. Uh, you can go from this side as well. As long as the cursor is the double black arrow cursor and drag this up so I got the right size and I may have to drag this down again just to get so make sure it's the right size so I'm going to drag this up a little bit more and then drag this black box again down to the number I need which is again seven eight uh, six eight seven let's just see now that's too big up here so I'm going to drag this down push this up a little bit and push this up as well so this is decent space here for me to put text and images um, that I will need. The banner doesn't need to be that big. However, I might, yeah, let's make this a bit larger. I'm going to zoom back in again just so I can see the number at the bottom here. So I can I can make sure that we actually have 768 uh, as, as the number here at the bottom. So that's 750 at the moment. So we can, if I can find the black box, there it is. Um, so that then tells me that the width is still 1024. Um, I just need to drag this down. 
to the right number. So let's send 60 now. 65, 6. That'll do. Okay, so you can see that's 50, 55, 60, 65, and that's about 70 there. Uh, but we want to be just before 70. So, you know, even if you hit 7, uh, 65, it would, it would be fine. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this, just have a look at what it looks like. Uh, by going to this globe button here to preview it and go to Chrome uh, and it's asking for me to save it so I'm going to say save yes I want to save it um, but I'm going to go um, and save this as template template and then press save just so I can see what it looks like now it doesn't look like it fits in but if I press the F11 uh, button on the keyboard it should go perfectly in. You can see the top line of the table and the bottom line of the table right at the bottom here and it's perfectly aligned inside this space. So which means there's no need for scrolling. Okay, even if I scroll, it makes no difference because it's that's the end of the page itself. So I'm happy with that height there. The next thing I need to do is put it into the middle. You can see there's a lot of space on this side here and nothing on this side. So I'm gonna bring it to the center. So F11 to come off of this preview and then I'm gonna go back here. And I'm going to click on the outside here. See how the table is selected with a black border. And here you can see the align uh, um, tool. And go to this here, what at the moment is known as default. So you're going to go and click center. And then I'm going to test this again. Click Chrome. Yes, I want to save it since I've made a change. Click on that. And then you'll see how now, if I go to F11 on the keyboard, it's now centered and it's inside the space of the window no scrolling required at all so that's going to be my um, area to work on so my banner is going to go in here my button is going to go in there and my text images will go in here and my uh, contact or information will go down here at the bottom press f11 and cross this off and then come back here 